silver with beauty that lives forever is International Sterling. From Hollywood, International Silver Company, creators of International Sterling, presents The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring America's favorite young couple, Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Hilliard. <laughs> As we look in on the Nelsons, Harriet's been working all morning making preserves. And now, with shining face and nose to match, she holds up a spoon to Ozzie and says, Taste this, dear, and tell me how you like it. Oh, 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 of course. Well? Well? How do you like that cherry flavor? No, oh, it's, it's wonderful. It's apricot. <laughs> oh, uh, well, it, it had a, a slight uh, cherry overtone. What is a slight cherry overtone? Uh, well, uh, it's uh, the, the, when uh, uh, apricots uh, taste like cherries. <laughs> Do you like it or don't you? Well, frankly... Yeah, that's all I wanted to know. No, no, no. It, it, it's delicious. It's... Uh, well, just it's... Uh, uh, well, you know what I mean. Yes, I can read between the us. <laughs> I don't know why you go to all the trouble to make jam when you can buy jam that's, that's much better. That, well, well, it's much easier. <laughs> My mother gave me this recipe. Oh, oh, I like the recipe. It's just that the jam is no good. What? <laughs> now, now, don't get me wrong. What, what I meant was that the, the jam is no good, but the recipe is fine. No, no, wait a minute. I didn't say that. Well, and who did? Well, uh, uh, what I'm... Uh, I, I didn't really... Well, anyway, why knock yourself out? I mean, it's silly to make homemade jam. You can go down to the store. In other words, you hate my jam. No. Hi, Mom. Hi, Pop. Oh, I'm glad to see you, son. <laughs> Ricky, would you take this jam for me? With pleasure. That's my boy. Here. How do you like it? Well, like father, like son. <laughs> Mom, a bunch of kids are coming over this afternoon. Have we got enough ice cream for them? I don't know. Look in the refrigerator. Sorry, Mother Hubbard, your cupboard is bare. <laughs> hey, there's the ice cream man. Yeah, I'll uh, get you some, Rick. Okay, get a pint of peppermint, a quarter nut royal, a half a pint of pistachio, a quarter chocolate chip, a half pint of peach custard, and a pint of cherry delight. Yeah, I, I, I've got a better idea. I'll get a gallon of Tutti Fruity. You can separate it yourself. <laughs> Mr. Nelson. Oh, Joe, how many flavors you got? Twenty-four. But you'll take chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. Well, I guess those are the old standbys. Well, I'll take a half a gallon of vanilla and a half a gallon of chocolate. Okay. Now, this is real homemade stuff. Homemade? Oh, come now, Joe. This isn't homemade. Mm, sure it is. Made by our chief chemist, Charlie Holmes. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Usually gets a laugh. Oh, not that it doesn't taste like it's homemade. Oh, now, now, wait a minute, Joe. I don't want to knock your product, but nothing tastes like homemade ice cream. Well, ours does. Joe, you can't compare the creamy, rich, smooth taste of homemade ice cream with this stuff you're selling. Full of hunks of ice, synthetic flavors, cheap gelatin, skim milk, and pieces of cardboard. <laughs> That's what you think of our ice cream. Why do you buy it? <laughs> you're always here waiting for me. Well, yes, I, I, I don't, don't go into your house and drag you. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just saying that yours isn't as good as homemade ice cream. Well, then why don't you make your own ice cream? Well, I could. Go ahead. Well, <laughs> it'd be easy. But just give me the chocolate and the vanilla. I should say not. I'm not selling you anything you don't like. If you're not a satisfied customer, you're not a customer. Goodbye, Mr. Nelson. Happy cranking. <laughs> Come back in a couple of hours and I'll show you I can make better ice cream. <laughs> Did you get the ice cream, Pop? No, I, I didn't buy it. I, I changed my mind. If you needed some money, I could have loaned you some. <laughs> Don't do it, Pop. He charges too much interest. 28% a day. That's illegal. It doesn't matter. I'm a minor. <laughs> what are we going to do for ice cream? I got a whole bunch of kids coming over here. What happened to the ice cream? Well, Pop didn't get it. That's uh, so right. I was out talking to the ice cream man. I got a wonderful idea. Are you going to treat all the kids to the movies? No, I'm going to make real homemade ice cream for you. We've got that old ice cream freezer in the garage. Rick, where are you going? 
I had to call my friends and tell them not to come over. Wait a second. Have any of you ever tasted any homemade ice cream? No, but we've tasted homemade jam. <laughs> I'm beginning to get a persecution complex. Tell me one thing. How is it you can be against my making jam at home, but it's all right for you to make ice cream? Well, you can buy good jam at the store, but you can't buy homemade ice cream. You have a cookbook handy? Oh, please, Pa. No, Ricky, this will make you the most popular kid around here. Couldn't he just learn to play the piano or something? <laughs> Believe me, your friends will just love this, Rick. Here's a cookbook. All right. Let's see here. Ice box cake. Icing. Ice cream. Oh, here we are. Oh, look at all the different kinds. Uh, what flavor would you like? Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we need some rock salt, first of all. We got some in the basement we used on the sidewalk that time. It got icy. I'll get it for you. Oh, let's see. We need cream. I'll get it for you. And uh, I'll get the freezer. Well, Harriet, this is becoming a family project. Yes, it is. I'll get the mop. <laughs> hey, what are you looking for, Oz? Oh, hi, Thorny. Looking for our old ice cream freezer. Oh, going to make ice cream, huh? Yeah. I wondered why Harriet was putting newspapers down on the kitchen floor. Well, she's always a little nervous when I'm in the kitchen. Yeah, I remember she put newspapers down that time you showed her how to bake a cake. <laughs> yeah. Should have put them on the ceiling, too. <laughs> how come you make an ice cream? Well, I had a little argument with uh, Joe, you know, the, the ice cream man. Uh, wouldn't drop his price for you, huh? No, no. <laughs> Would you mean he had the nerve to tell me his stuff was better than homemade ice cream? Heavens to Betsy, how dare he? <laughs> Cut it out. I doubt if he's ever tasted the real stuff. Uh, you had it when you were a kid, didn't you? Oh, sure. We used to make some practically every Sunday. Oh, there's nothing like it, was there, Thorny? Why the stuff used to melt in your mouth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, off to the kitchen. Uh, Oz, old friend, do you need any help? Glad to have you aboard, Thorny. <laughs> Kitchen's all ready for you, Chef Barney. <laughs> Harry, there's no reason. Hey, how did you get those newspapers on the ceiling? Scotch tape. <laughs> I see you've got a partner for your crime. Yes, sir. When old Oz started talking about making old-fashioned ice cream, that was enough for me. Oh, well, there's the cookbook and all the things you need. If you want me, you'll find me cringing in the cellar. <laughs> okay, boy, let's get to work. What's the first thing we do? Well, let me see what it says here. Three cups of cream. Use cream that is 24 hours old. Makes a finer grain than fresh cream. Okay, what's the next step? We've got to add sugar, salt, more cream. Well, it looks okay to me, but you sure spilled a lot on the drain board. Oh, uh, uh, mop it up, will you, Tony? I don't know what you'd do without me. I'll get the freezer. No, no, no. Don't wring the dish rag out into the ice cream, Thorny. <laughs> I just didn't want to waste all this good stuff. Now, now we pour it into the freezer and put the ice in. Yeah, well, hold it. Does the ice cream go into the can on the inside and the ice on the outside? Or does the ice cream go on the outside and the ice on the inside? <laughs> That's a, a, a pretty good question figure this out logically. Well, now, wait a minute. The ice must go in the can on the inside. The inside. Otherwise, it'd melt too fast, huh? Y yes, I... No, I remember distinctly. I always licked out the inside can, never the outside. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's play it safe, huh? Pour half on the inside and half on the outside. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, we, we've got to take a chance one way or the other, and I'm sure it goes on the inside. Okay, you're the brain. Pour it in. It looks a little lumpy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I left the spoon in. <laughs> uh, can you fish it out there? I'll try. Yeah, I got it. Uh, where's the towel? 
Right in back of you. There we are. Let me just see how it tastes. No, no, no. We don't taste it until it's ready. Now what? Well, we put the lid on and you pour the ice in. Hey, look out. What's the matter? You're getting it all over the floor. Here, I'll do it. Honestly, Tony, you're a vivid example of the old adage, if you want a thing done right, you've got to do it yourself. Oh, no, really, I... Uh, uh, hand me the rock salt, would you please? There you are. Now what? Now all we have to do is crank it. Uh, all we have to do is crank it? <laughs> well, sure, you're helping me. Oz, I refer you to your statement of a moment ago. If you want a thing done right, do it yourself. <laughs> As we rejoin the Nelsons, the ice cream freezer is in full operation on the back porch. You hear that rusty creaking? Those are Ozzy's muscles. <laughs> the ice cream freezer is well oiled. Thorny! Thorny! to turning the handle on an ice cream freezer. Really? Oh, oh, yes, yes. You see, you can't turn it too fast, and you can't turn it too slow. Um, I don't know whether you could do it or not. However, I, I might let you try it. Hey, Pop, you just reminded me of something. What's that? I gotta take my copy of Tom Sawyer back to the library. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll see you later, Huck. David, just put that tray of jars on the shelf. The jam will cool better out there on the back porch. Okay, Mom. Oh, careful. Don't kick over the ice cream freezer. Where's Pop? Look out by our elm tree. See that big lumpy root on the ground? Yeah. That's your father. <laughs> Sleep, huh? Yep, he's all cranked out. <laughs> hey, Mom, I wonder how the ice cream is. Yeah, I've been wondering that, too. Why don't we try it? I'll get the lid off. Hmm. Has kind of an unhealthy pallor, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm like old shaving cream. <laughs> I'll try... Poor beauty. <laughs> I must admit, I admire your courage. Here's a spoon. Well, here goes. How is it? You taste it. <laughs> hmm. I agree with you wholeheartedly. What flavor is it supposed to be? My guess is vanilla. Are you sure? Well, there's the cap of the vanilla bottle floating between those two lumps. <laughs> Try. Wait a minute, Mom. Here comes a boy with an unbiased opinion. He'll eat anything. How's the ice cream? Oh, here, Ricky. Taste it. Give me a spoon. Well, it ain't great. <laughs> it isn't great. You ain't kidding. <laughs> I can't give this stuff to my friends. Yeah, it is pretty bad, even for those monsters. Look who's talking. Half of your friends are girls. <laughs> All right, that's enough, fellas. What are we going to do about the ice cream? We'll have to go down to the market and buy some. Pop isn't going to like this. Not if he tastes it. <laughs> I mean, he won't like us to buy store ice cream after he's gone all the trouble to make this. Yeah, he did put in a lot of hard work. 
Mom, how would it be if we bought the ice cream, dumped this stuff out, and put the good stuff in? Hey, yeah, Pop wouldn't know the difference, and everybody'd be happy, especially me. <laughs> now, that's not exactly fair. Let's give it another try, see if it tastes any better. Here, take another taste, Ricky. David? Now you try it, Mom. David, back out your car. <laughs> Mom, a gallon of vanilla. Oh, fine. I... Uh-oh. Look who just came in. Pop. You boys take the ice cream and head up the bakery aisle, cut through the canned soups, and I'll head him off in front of the frozen vegetables. <laughs> We're on our way. Hi, ho, vanilla. I beg your... Uh, Harriet. Well, for goodness sake, fancy meeting you here. Well, what are you doing here? Well, this is a market, and I'm marketing. What are you doing here? Well, I woke up and found you were gone, and I decided to take a little walk. So I got in the car, and here I am. What are you going to buy? No! Uh, what are you going to buy? Oh! Well, it's been nice seeing you, Dale. No, 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 wait a minute. Harriet, sometimes I just don't understand you. Well, I hope not. I'll see you at home. Well, I hope not. That's a silly answer. It's all done, Mom. I put the stuff we bought in the ice cream freezer. What did you do with your father's ice cream? We poured it into a big bowl and put it in the refrigerator. Oh, no, your father's sure to find it there. Use the gallon container the store ice cream was in, and I'll get rid of it tomorrow. <laughs> Buddy, hello, old rat. <laughs> Come on. As soon as the hard work started, you disappeared. I'm sorry, Oz, but I had to go home. I was expecting a long distance call. From home. I didn't know. That's why I had to go home. <laughs> Pretty flimsy excuse. Yeah. <laughs> well, how's it taste, Oz? Do you want my expert opinion? Absolutely not. You ducked out the crucial moment. You're not entitled to any. Well, do you mind if I watch? Well... Okay, but stand back. Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Just like Mother used to make. Doesn't look like homemade ice cream to me. Well, you just taste it. Here. No, no, no. I was derelict in my duty, and I'm not entitled to any. So oh, go ahead and taste it. Okay, but remember, you forced me. <laughs> Hmm. How is it? How is it? It's all right. Oh, take some more. Here, here's a bigger spoon. Well, thanks. Yes, sir, that's mighty, um... Mighty what? Uh, you mind if I take another taste? No, 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 no. Here's a couple of bowls. Let's give this a good, fair trial. Uh, help yourself to another bowl, Thorny. No, no, thanks, Oz. But I gotta hand it to you, it's terrific. Oh. <laughs> I gotta agree with you. <laughs> well, let's put the lid back on. <clears throat> hey, what happened to all the ice cream? I guess we tasted it all the way. <laughs> I can't believe it. Gee, I, I made this for the kids. Well, Oz, we had to find out if it was all right for them to eat. Yes, but we ate it all. And I think it's all right for them to eat. <laughs> she after I gave them this big build-up about homemade ice cream. Oh, I feel awful. Maybe you can whip up another batch. Oh, I haven't time. I got it. Use the ice cream that Harriet bought. What ice cream? Well, I saw her take a gallon container of it into the house a little while ago. Really? Let me look. Well, yes, there it is. So that's what she was doing at the store. She had no confidence in me. Well, on past performance, I can't blame her. But why not take advantage of her foresight and dump that store stuff in the ice cream freezer? It'll never taste the same, Tony. Kids won't know the difference. Tell them it's homemade and they'll love her. Gee, I hate to practice deception. Oz, old man, you're well past the practice stage. <laughs> Sounds 
like Ricky Spence are having a good time in there. Yeah, I noticed the ice cream freezer is pretty well cleaned out. Mm -hmm. The boys really seem to love it. Uh, did you taste my ice cream? Yes, dear. Did you notice its distinctive taste? I sure did. <laughs> well, Howard, I'm going to tell you a little secret. That ice cream in the freezer isn't mine. <laughs> I know, dear. So you... Who told you? Thorny? No, I'm going to tell you a little secret. The boys and I tasted your ice cream while you were napping, and... Well, you remember what you said about my jam? Yes. Well, that goes double for your homemade ice cream. <laughs> I tasted it myself, and it was delicious. Of course. That was the ice cream I bought at the market. We switched. Well, now, you, you mean? Yep. What did you do with the ice cream I made? Put it back in the store container and stuck it in the refrigerator. Harriet, I emptied that container back into the freezer. You mean the boys are eating your homemade ice cream now? Yeah. Can you have some more ice cream? Oh, why, sure, son. Help yourself. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thanks. I got some more, fellas. Well, so my ice cream wasn't any good, huh? Well. The kids like it. They're coming back for seconds. Proof of the pudding is in the eating, isn't it? Maybe they think it's pudding. <laughs> <laughs> they know it's ice cream. My homemade ice cream. Oh, hi, son. Uh, more ice cream? Oh, thanks. More jam. More jam? You mean my homemade jam? Sure. Kills the taste of the ice cream. <laughs> Yep, you're right. That's your homemade ice cream out there. And it's my homemade jam that they like. The same jam that you said was so awful. Uh, well, uh, not exactly. What do you mean? Well, while you were at the market, I woke up and tasted some of your homemade jam. And all I could say was, well, I couldn't say anything. My teeth were stuck together. <laughs> so I rushed right down to the market. Ozzy, you mean you bought this jam and threw mine out? Exactly. Uh, that's a pretty low-down, sneaky trick. But it was all right for you to switch my ice cream. I did it as a matter of public health. <laughs> that's why I switched your jam. Well, I'll make a deal with you. If you won't make any more ice cream, I won't make any more jam. You know something? If I could lift my arm, I'd shake hands with you. <laughs> What kind of ice cream should I get? I'll get strawberry this time. And you better apologize to Joe. Oh, Joe! Hey, Joe! Yes, Mr. Nelson? Uh, Joe, I want to apologize to you for what I said about your ice cream. I'm really very sorry. If you don't mind, I'd like to buy a quart of vanilla. I won't sell it to you. <laughs> Why not? I apologized, didn't I? Yeah, but after our argument, I went home and told my wife about it. She made some homemade ice cream and... Well, you're right. It is better than the stuff I sell. <laughs> But, Joe... Mr. Nelson, I can't go on living a lie. As soon as I get rid of all the junk in the truck, I'm going into the frozen vegetable business. Bye, Mr. Nelson. <laughs>